Welcome back to part two, I guess, for um, how to run Cardano. Uh, in the, I guess the previous one was part one. We learned how to install the Cardano CLI, and that was done by, well, installing Daedalus, because with Daedalus, we get a full node. Now, the next part of the tutorial, and I'm actually just going through one at a time, right? Uh, first, we did installing Cardano. Now we're doing running Cardano node and I'm just, you know, sharing my progress here. So I wrote down this on Notion and I'm just going to walk through what I did because I was able to download the entire blockchain on my local PC. As you can see here, we see different slots and I was able to check that this worked. You see, it just updated right now. If we run this command, then we're going to see that this was the latest slot and now it's you know ending in 180 805 so i mean slots are being um added constantly so it's like okay now i'm at the point where i can run cardano node i have access to the tip the most the most recent block and um and the slot so we're going to look into how we did this so excuse my neighbor upstairs so first we're going to create a directory i called it yep yeah. so i am going to go into my home directory and if you see here i created our a cardano um cardano folder okay so i created a cardano folder you do you could do this anywhere right you could do this in your desktop or any folder wherever but the important the important thing is to you're going to need five files and these five files are going to be fetched from a different server and fortunately for us um, they provided a way we just need to put this command into a terminal and if you're not used to seeing that all it is it is really is i'm just gonna by the way there's two um two blockchains right there's a mainnet and there's a testnet I'm playing with the test net and the reason why is because when you play with the main net you're sending real value right you're sending real money and all that and we don't really want to spend time when we're learning I, I mean spend real value when we're learning money so I'm just gonna play in the test net I'm gonna copy this and when we copy and paste it here um, basically it's going to download all those files and you know um it's usually where you run the command so now i have in my home directory these files i'm going to delete them later um but anyway before i did it in my whatchamacallit desktop and i was able to transfer them over see so i, I downloaded it using curl and then i have my folders i put it in my cardano directory um, Put this behind too. And I created this folder called DB. You just create it. And the reason why we created, if we go back into, into this, sorry, wrong page. I'm, I'm all over the place. All right, so if we look here back again, yep, we did download. Uh, if you're curious about what dash zero stands for, it means HTTP one and dash J means a remote header name. Okay, cool. So this is, these are images of me. Yep. Downloading it. Um, and then we're going to transfer the files to the folder that you created. And this, in my case, I did it in my home directory. Then we need to fill out six parameters when we, um, uh, whatchamacallit, run the Cardano node command. Uh, the first five are pretty straightforward. And let me just go over that really quickly. The documentation is pretty straightforward. This is the format that we want. So we have topology as a parameter, database, socket path, host address, port, config, um, etc. Now, if you notice here, this is all this is one of the files that we just downloaded. So we just need to give it the full path um, to it, okay? And same thing to actually not this, this, we just create a DB folder for socket path. I was confused here a little, but we just literally need to create a file called node.socket 
within the DB that we just created. Host directory, we're just going to stay local. We're going to do 127.0.0.1. For port, we just want anything over, I think, um, 1200. I forget. You know, we want to go over anything that's already designated. And for config, same thing. We already had this uh, file. So let me just show you. Um, I think I'm going to show you my, my directory. I don't want that. I want that. Yeah. So I created this folder called DB. Okay. And these weren't here before. All right. So I just created this. Um, actually, where did that go? Huh. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. So if you look here, I wrote down this command so I can copy and paste it every time we, you know, I did, I wrote, I copied and pasted it. Um, so I have up till here, it's my directory, right? Jesus. Um, yeah. And then we have the test net. Where is it? Testnet config. Yeah, this is the testnet config. DB, it's literally the address here. DB just made that. The thing I was confused about was there used to be a file here called node.socket. And I just went into the terminal. Um, and how I did it was I went to, and I, I all I did was um, touch node.socket. I'm not going to add it here now, but if you press enter, you're going to create a file, right? Um, but that seemed to have went away for some reason after I um, downloaded the blockchain. Not so sure. Um, look into the socket thing, by the way. I thought that was pretty interesting. But anyway, something about co internal communication. So, and then for the host address, we can use our real, we can use our real IP address. I mean, not that this is fake, but you know, this is what I'm going to go for. Port number, I put, I picked an arbitrary number. Um, they did 301 here. It doesn't really matter. Um, it'll, it'll explain, see, this is really useful because it, it goes through every single parameter and what you should do. Like socket path goes in, goes really deep IPC, um, uh, host address, something about, um, yeah, any number of over 1024 and dash config. This is a file that we already have talked about it. So yeah, I literally just copied this, just replaced um, the home path to wherever I put the files. And then you are going to see this after you input this. And just to show you that again, let me, let me just make sure. Yeah. So after you, you know, um, do that, like it's really useful to know your path. So you can do what? Where am I? Oh, okay. Well, I need to go to users. I'm going to put my name. Uh, yeah, so if we go here and do PWD, we're going to see our working directory. And we, you know, it's convenient to copy and paste that. So if I copy and paste this, everything's set. Um, I'm going to run it. I already have it running now, I think somewhere else. So I'm just going to cancel that, terminate it. And if you see here, it's going to clear, boom, and then it's going to start running and it's going to get the most latest block, right? It's going to get the latest block in the slot. Um, It took me, it took me a long time to, excuse me, download the entire blockchain. I think, I'm not sure. Maybe it took me anywhere from five to 10 hours. I forget. It could be, um, sooner, but in order to check that it worked, we are going to copy and paste this. We're going to run Cardano CLI like, and query the tip for this test net. So I'm going to create a separate window for this. And if you see here, boom didn't work and uh, I was wondering why that didn't work at first and 
I um, actually wasn't sure. Yeah. So let me try this again. I'm going to. Yeah, that shouldn't work. I'm going to run this. OK. And when we do that, I should get the latest block soon or the latest slot. I hope this is helpful. I know this is not so organized, but you know, I just want to share my progress. We're going to export the Cardano. Oh, okay, this is important. Well, yeah, we're going to export the Cardano node socket path too. So I did that in my Z shell run control file. Um, yeah, yeah, you need that system variable. So I'm not too sure, but let me try this again. Okay, I'm not happy with this anymore. New window. Oops. Testnet. Huh, okay. Real problem here. Does not exist. No such file. But it worked earlier, so what's the problem, right? I don't know. Maybe something was like terminating my terminating the blockchain like prematurely. Um Yeah, because if you see here, it's not showing me much stuff. Okay, okay. This is what we're waiting for, the open volume DB. So it wasn't connected before. So that shouldn't work because the session, whatever. But if we do it now, it's going to work. I promise you this is going to work. Look. There we go. Now we have the latest block and the slot and we are now positioned to do something else thanks for watching have fun and good luck